for this assignment, you're going to be using the application called Processing. In the next unit, you'll learn how to program in this, but right now we're just going to use it. So I'm going to double click and open it up. You might have to find where it's installed or install it yourself. Now this is what they call a sketchpad. This is normally where you can text and you can write your code. In this case, we're not writing code yet. We're just going to be using a program that's been pre-coded. I've downloaded it already, Picture Grid Draw. And you can go into Processing, click File, Open, and navigate to that file um, wherever you may have it. However, in this case, I'm just going to drag and drop it, and that'll create a new sketch pad named after the file um, that has all of the code in it. Now, as you might notice, um, Picture or Processing is a text-based programming language, um, whereas Scratch, uh, you had images. However, you might find some key words in here um, that are the same as those that you use in Scratch uh, when you learn to program. Um, so scroll through and see uh, which terms you notice that um, processing uses that also Scratch used. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and run this program by clicking the play button, which will open the program in a new window. It looks like this. And here we have our controls down at the bottom. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to do is upload a picture. So I'll click upload picture, find my picture open it up and it overlays. Now this picture is a little large and it cuts off one of the buttons, but we'll use it for these purposes. The next thing I'm going to do is click toggle grid. And you can change the size of this by making it bigger or smaller. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at its default. Now your goal is to use this grid uh, to represent your image, in this case Project Engage logo, uh, as best you can using dots and lines. Um, here you can toggle on and off the line mode, but when you're not in line mode, when you click on an intersection of the grid, what you're going to get is a dot. If I turn off the picture and the grid, you see those clicks turned into dots. You can unclick them if you make any mistakes. Um, but the main thing you're going to be using is, this toggle, is the line mode. So I'm going to toggle it on, and I'm going to click. And this time when I click again, it's going to draw a line that connects those two points. And I can continue to draw that line until I toggle that mode off. Now I'm going to try and outline as best as I can this E. You notice that the coordinate grids don't match exactly the digital image, but I'm doing the best I can to approximate what it looks like. Also, notice that you can't click the same button twice because uh, you can also click the the dot to turn it off so the the program doesn't know if you're trying to turn it off or create a new line so you're going to have to leave a space between when you end your line when you end a line you can go ahead and click toggle line mode and that'll stop that line and i'm going to start a new line by clicking it one more time now i'm going to continue to do this to try and draw uh, this picture and i'm going to pause right now and i'll show you the end result so here I finished outlining it as best I could in about three or four or five minutes. Um, and you'll see like my lines don't match up exactly to what the image is. And the goal is though that I drew this well enough that my neighbor or friend could be able to recognize the image if I took it away. So I'm going to turn off the grid and you can see my still lines do approximate pretty well. And then when I turn off the picture, you might be able to recognize the logo as well as engage project is a little bit harder to see. Well, that's our goal. Can you draw and represent a picture using a coordinate grid so that if the picture and the grid are removed, your friend can recognize what it is? Good luck.